Ladies and gentlemen, I have Mr. Ralph Arona. What's going on, everybody? No more mutants. You know what happens if I say that? Like, what happens? Everything changes. Tell, the whole universe changes, Tell bro. everyone right now, really quick, like what that means. Like, All right. So for those who don't know, I created an account called No More Mutants on Instagram because my wife did not want to see a comic book <laughs> image. And there were rules of Instagram back then. You know, like, I have to follow you. You're my husband. I'm like, just don't follow me. She's like, no. So I had to create something new. And I had just read House of M. Which the Scarlet Witch says no more mutants. She literally got pissed off for at her father. People out there, how Sam is the name of the issue. One of the Correct. Comments. It's a major storyline in the Marvel universe, and because of that, the mutant population, which was I think sixteen million at the time. Yeah. No, actually, yeah. I think it was around 16 million or 1 million. 1 million. She dropped them down to 198. The uh, Olsen twin sister just said, no yeah. more mutants. And that's it. She dropped everybody to 198 mutants, period. So it, Cyclops was like, we're an endangered species now. So they all got together, including the bad guys. They're like, we're going we're gonna to cohabitate. Yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, it was really like, good. She dude. for a while was like hiding somewhere doing all that, right? Yeah, and they went yeah. And found her and shit. And yeah. Like, Stop out of it, bitch. Sal, sal. Now, let me ask you something yeah. real quick before we get into all the other good stuff, the goody stuff. Do you think that they're going to pl- they're going to take a little bit of that, right? And make what they're doing with the WandaVision show and lead into this multiverse because I found no other way to insert that and make her look crazy as fuck that her family gone. Well, somebody was telling me, what if the current Marvel Cinematic Universe that we live in is already ah. after she has said no more mutants and no one knows about mutants because she has already said it. She's already gone insane. Wow. And the multiverse will bring that out, that she's already done so. Now... That's a mind fuck right I, now. I that know, just, dude. That just fucked because me Because Kevin Feige can't introduce mutants right there. Boom, Xavier exists, Wolverine exists, Cyclops exists, but... All right, let's put a pin in this. Yes, I, I want, we I want, can keep I want, going I want to do... We're doing like the Bible. We're going forward and back, and we should be going in order. Old Testament, New Testament. Now listen, let's here's go. the deal. People who don't know, like Ralph, you... Since I've known you, you were like fucking... You, you were into the shit. Yeah. I mean, with toys, comics, everything. Yeah. There's like a lost footage of us doing a movie with your fucking toys. Yeah, bro. Lando Calrissian <laughs> and then the land speeder, remember? <laughs> Dude, then the six fold, bro. Yeah. I'm my six fold. That's right. No, but here's my thing. Like, it, it's been a journey for you as far as your, your, like, your interest, but then it has led you to something else, which is why I want to talk to you about. Yeah. Like... like Walk me through, like, not, you know, in the beginning, like, the beginning days of, like, I mean, you start this account, you're like, hey, I'm just going to post these pics. Yeah. You're posting pics. Yeah, yeah. And then what, like, fucking the Marvel fairy shows up? No, it it? was like. Who the hell? Like, I I posted, I think the first picture I posted was, you know, Uncanny X-Men 213. Wolverine versus Sabretooth. You know that famous cover? Yeah, the famous. And everybody's like, and I, that's a picture my wife is like, you got to put that on something else. So I posted that as my false pick, and I was like, hey, I got a like. And she's like, ah, congratulations. There's another <laughs> geek in the world that loves the same crap as you. <laughs> two you, of you. Yeah, there's two of you. You're a minority. you know. And then I'm like, hey, I, I posted like 10 pics so far. I got a few people. She's like, whatever. So I just started doing it like every other day, and, once a day. And these pics were random pics? These were just, well, here's the thing. There was a time in my life when I was working at a company that it got really, really slow. Chopping wood here. And... Huh? And uh, when it got slow, there was this guy at work that he had downloaded all this music from Napster. And like, yo, give me all that stuff. So I'm downloading gigabytes, and then I'm seeing Phil Collins show up on my iTunes. I'm like, why is that? He's like, we got album covers now. I'm like, I don't want to see Phil Collins on the air tonight, bro. I want to see Wolverine. So (laughs) I deleted all the album covers, and I just started looking for comic book images and saving them. And those images were the first ones that I started wow. uploading. So if you literally play my playlist in my phone right now, those you'll are the see, images. Yeah, you'll see a ton of and and I like categorize it. You know, like hip hop music is it's got to be this type of images. If it's if it's freestyle, it's going to be Tony Stark. If it's going to be wow. old oldies, That's it's going to be Peter Parker. So stuff like that. And I started saving those images. I'm like, I'll post two, three, four. And bro, I just started getting likes and likes. But it took a long time. Like. I remember being at Disney World one time with the kids, and I'm like, Emily, I just cracked 18K. And Emily's my daughter, and she's like, really? You cracked 18,000 followers? Four years later. Yeah, you know, and, and she's like, Dad, that's awesome. 
And there was this one guy, and you've seen him on the internet, Boss Logic. He does of all course. these amazing Oh, my God. Shout out to Boss Logic. For real, bro. Boss, you're the boss. Yeah, you are, man. And uh, he was at like around 33K, and I followed him, and he's like, hey, thanks for following me. And I posted his picture. And then there was another guy. His name was Merck with a mouth something, very Deadpoolish. Yeah. And he had like, I want to tell you, like 30K. And I'm like, man, he's doing the same thing I am. I got to pass this guy. I got to mm. pass this guy, bro. And I, I was like down like maybe 12k from him and i'm like no i gotta do this so i started hustling and i'm like okay what's my what's my time frame what am i posting do i need to post more frequent what what am i posting and then i was like people are like hey uh what do you think is going to happen in the wolverine or the wolverine movie i'm like i, I don't know at dude. this time you didn't have no nothing no, bro, did you nothing. have your own mind like well let me tell you what i think no it was just like well in the comic book blah, right. you know that was it so then people like are like references. People correct. love that about your page. Yeah, they do, and they're like, "Yo, where can I get this? Where can I get that? What what should I read?" But like at the time, I didn't even think about it. I'm like, "No, man, it's just it's probably gonna be this, but it's gonna be totally different." And I would post images that I would find. I'm like, "Look, here's the Silver Samurai images," and they're like, "Hey, that's great," but then I'm like, "Man, there's like a void." So then I started start filling in that void with, "Hey, movie news," and I I found an algorithm that I can follow to say follow these sites, and I could get most of the news when it's breaking. Yeah. And then I could just repost. I'll give credit where credit's due. And Correct. even with the artists, I'll give credit where credit's due. But, like, sometimes I'm finding out stuff and then I'm posting it. And then my account started getting, like, to 50. And I looked at that guy who was Merc with the mouth. Yeah. He's at 60. I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm just Gotta shy 10. I'm just shy 10, bro. And I was like, one day, it, you know, you Shaitan know, Shaitan is a small city next to Shy Town. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so, I was so close. But I'm like, man, something needs to change. And you and me and Gio and everybody else, bro, we don't live in a world where there's only Marvel. We yeah. don't live in a world that there's only Star Wars. Like yeah. I can't mix Luke Skywalker with, you know, uh, Goku. Yeah. They live in the same world in my head. Yeah. <laughs> so then I was like, well, why don't I just post everything I love? Oof. So then I was like... You start hitting him with the boom, left, the jab. First thing I posted, Batman animated series. The GOAT. Boom. boom. Everyone's like, yo, that is the GOAT. And I was like, oh, this is this is taking off. In the end of the year, bro, I had 150,000 followers. Dang. Homeboy was still at 76. And I was like, what? I just bypassed this kid of how many followers he had. And he was my goal. Wait, what was his thing? What, what he, was he was post? just posting... Deadpool pictures. And That's I'm like, it. So that like was he would focus on mm, it. So can't I'm like, do it one guy. Can't do it one guy, bro. You've got to take over the whole world. So then I was like, yo. People like that shit. That you, yeah. you bring the whole, bro, everything. Bro, Cobra Commando. There's Ninja Turtles. Ninja fucking Turtles, Shredder comes everybody. out. Everybody. And that's the thing. It When you played in your in your playground, you had all of them. And they all interacted with each other. you know. And right now, yeah. we ha- I had them siloed. And I'm like, no. Yeah. So I changed that. And the account blew up, dude. Oof. It just... It took off from there. And then it was like, bro, there were days that I would log in and it would tell me on a website. It's like, oh, you've made 300 followers today. And I'm like, oh, man, I, I wish yesterday was 500. I guess today sucked. <laughs> bro, and now the algorithm, I'm like, today I made 30. Yes! Oh, oh. my God, because the algorithm's changed. It's a lot everything. of work or what? It is, man. Some, I got it. I don't even say nine to five. I say like an eight to six job, bro. So I'm like... Bro, I got to go to the bathroom just to make a post. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sometimes I'll pre-plan. I'm like, yo, just save a few pictures from the internet. And it happens to be when I'm posted about something. Bro, I posted He-Man and then the actor was revealed of who's He-Man. I'm like, okay, I posted about He-Man. You're like the shaman. Yeah. And then 10 months later. You know something, asshole. I, like, I don't. So right now is your ch- PSA, guys. Listen. Um, I don't know anything. Rob doesn't know shit, man. Bro. He's got the Jedi Force is what it is. Bro, I, I posted He-Man again like 10 months later and Kevin Smith announced his He-Man cartoon. Like <sighs> that same day. Like, like anime. Whoa. Hey, you can't do. You, listen, listen. I don't know if I'm ready for a real live movie He-Man again, man. I, I don't I, want I, one. But he, Kevin Shout Smith out to is, is cartoon. He's no, no, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah, anime yeah. all day. I'll take any anime, yeah. bro. You and, can make fucking day. Lucha Libre in anime. Oh I'll gosh, watch yes. it. But can you get away with a Masters of the Universe real? Be- like, what are you going to do? Is no. he going to have the short blonde hair no, with no, the little no. mullet? And the, little, the kid that they got? Look, no, the no, little no. fucking cut like no. that? Like, and Skeletor has to be done right, period. And Beastman and Merman and, and all Think about it. If you, if you put a real Skeletor, the way he looks in a cartoon in real yeah. life, he'll look like a dumbass. Oh, bro. He'll look like a dumbass. He's completely he was, naked, right? No, he just they got to change him, bro. <laughs> they got to change him. 
Yeah, they can't, but you can't. You if you, you change can't. that cartoon, you put they did it. When Dolph Lundgren yes. showed up and they were all spaced but they out. They have like, to do it something like they did in the MCU. What the fuck was that little brown it? guy, man? He wasn't even Oracle. <laughs> what, who was that guy? I, I hate that it. movie, man. I, I do hate it. I do hate it. But you know what? You'll watch it today. You're like, yo, let's put yeah, it on just yeah. for kids. Why, why is it that I have to watch all those movies? Sometimes they're on and I'm like, leave that shit on. Yeah, like yeah, the bro. old ass ninety movies yeah, and leave old eighties. Yeah. Like uh, Ninja Turtles Part 3 when they oh went to gosh. China like or Japan? Yeah. I remember what the breakdancing with Vanilla Ice yeah, vanilla and all ice that. And all that shit. Like, oh. God, the, the movies are better now. It's cringy, but you know, you're like, yo, that, that was classic. That was live back then. Do people ask you like questions and you're just like, I don't fucking know this. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then you're you, like, I'm going to answer it. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I have somebody who's like, yo, when do you think a Moon Knight? It's going to come out. Moon Knight TV show. I'm like, yo, I would like it for Netflix because this is when Netflix was still live. I would and like it. And before they announced it. Before they announced it, I would love Moon Knight. Because they're doing a show, right? Yeah, they're doing a the show. Real live show. Real not, live action right, show right, right. that's going to be connected to the MCU mm. through Disney+. Plus. And I'm like, love yo. It just came in my pants. And I was like, yo, Moon Knight would be lit, but they have to do it, you know, straight up Egypt. And they're like, yeah, man. Uh, but you think it's going to happen? I'm like, I don't know, man. I really hope so. And boom, they announced it. Boom, Moon they announced Knight, it. They're like, like, this guy's a fucking what? Illuminati. They know. They know you are connected. Dude, bro, a lot of them think I am. And, you know, like, yo, you must be. T- bro, I saw somebody. He's like, you're, you're no more mutants? Bro, I went Pokemon hunting in Fort Myers Beach. <laughs> Shout out to Pokemon hunting. <laughs> and I was with my daughter. People that still I, Pokemon hunting? Bro, this was two years ago. Oh, okay, okay. And I, I put my account name as No More Mutants, and I'm Pokemon hunting, and I put my guy in the gym, and this guy's battling me, and he's like, are you No More Mutants? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, bro, I follow you. I'm like, oh my god, He's like, I know you so much, uh, dude. It's How do you crazy. feel when you when you meet people? Is that weird? Is that like surreal? It is weird because to me, I'm I'm a scrub from Cutler Ridge, man. Yeah, yeah. So to me, it's weird. But bro, sometimes I'm hanging like with legit guys, and I'm like, that guy's getting his yeah, autograph yeah, 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 done. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's I'm weird. Like, yeah, look, dude. it's happened to me twice. I've been really? like at at like fucking right here in the hood, like one of these little like uh, right here in the old Cutler. And yeah, someone will be like. When I had the long hair, and they'd yeah. be like, hey, you're the bounty hunter. And I'm like, eh, that's me. And I'm like, holy <laughs> shit, that one guy saw my he shit. Saw like, he saw it. Because then the other 40 is my family. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it, it's, it's weird. It is weird. It but is I want more. Weird. Yeah, I want more. I want more. I go into Comic Cons and every so often, I'll introduce myself, I'll give my business card. They're like, bro, you follow me. Even artists now. Like, I have a few of the uh, key artists, tier one artists that follow my account, and they're liking my junk. And I'm like, Yo, like you know J. Scott Campbell, who does J. Scott uh, Campbell. J. Scott Campbell is an, is a tier one artist. He does all these sexy covers for Mary Jane Watson for Spider Man. Okay, and this guy came up from Danger Girl and Gen Thirteen in Image Comics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, back when Jim Lee left Marvel and he started it with McFarland and yeah. Liefeld, they did a contest in issue two of Wildcat. Said, "Hey, send us your artwork, and if we dig your stuff, we'll call you." This kid actually won that contest. Wow. And then he got picked up, and he's like number one artist from Marvel that he does only Spider-Man stuff. So he follows my account, and he likes my stuff. And every so often, I'm like, yo, check out you know Jay's new stuff. And they're like, yo, thanks for the shout-out, man. I'm like, hey, no problem. And he's like, I'm going to send you something. Get a care package full of stack of comics. I'm like, yo, Lord. I'm winning. You know, so And I'm looking at the retail prices. This is 200 bucks worth of comics, bro. So, and it's something you love. Yeah, bro. It's not and like you're like, I don't need this about. shit. You're like, I'm going to read this shit. It's passionate. You're, you're passionate about a subject that you're you're an expert in, and you're like, yo, I'm being acknowledged for it. Well, and, you know this shit, though. Oh, bro. I, I, you used to, like, I mean, sometimes you'd be like, hey, look at this. I'm like, I don't, I don't bro, want to right now. Like, like that one night, like, <laughs> I, went to the, I went to a club with Chris one time, and we're at Iguanas, and we're both... Church boys. At this point, we <laughs> shout were out old. to Jesus. Shout out to the man, <laughs> man. And we're church boys, and we're in there. And he calls one of his boys from the Navy, and he's like, "Yo, I just got to the club. Come meet." And he's like, "All right." Guy comes over. He's like, "Chris, man, I, I, it's good to see you." And he and Chris is like, "Yo, what you take? What you take? Everybody take something from the Navy. Somebody take something." He's like, "Yo, man, I." I took a relationship. He's like, you fell in love? He's like, I fell in love with Jesus Christ, man. And Chris is like, yo, talk to Ralph. And I'm like, oh, my God. And by that time, I was going through the divorce with Anna. And I'm like, bro, what you doing? And he's like, no, man, I, I got to tell you, Jesus is great. 
I'm like, bro, I can name you the stones <laughs> on the chest plate of Aaron, That's brother. I, said, I can name you the pillars <laughs> in Solomon's temple. But yet you come here talking about the Lord. <laughs> Nigga, I, where are the iguanas? Bro, at that time, I gave a shout out to Jesus Christ because he saved yeah, my yeah, life. Yeah. But, shout out to Jesus. Know, um, but I was the like, Spanish version. But that's the, the whole like. thing. The guy who plays, you know, bowling. Yeah. That's who's. From, or or uh, Jimmy Cavizzo, whatever his name is. Like Jimmy <laughs> he did a good job. He did a good job. Listen, he let did. me ask you. Let me, do a, let me do a fan question real quick, and then we'll, I'll, we'll move on and talk other shit. Hit me. Is Boba Fett dead? No. Wait. Hold on. It's puzzling me. Two things are puzzling me in By Star Wars. By the way, Wars. Boba Fett, the kid, follows me. No way. Yes, He's Daniel. grown up now. I want to be Boba Fett. Yeah, Shout he, out to they should let him yeah, be Boba Fett. Yeah, dude. I think he should be Boba Fett. They um, should let him legit be Boba Fett. So at the end of Return of the Jedi, we know he got chomped by the Sarlacc pit. Done. Falls in there. But They don't they show nothing. Be, There's no special features that show Boba Fett coming out of it, correct? No, correct. Ever. But there was the expanded universe that expanded on that additional story. What, comic? Comic and books. What, that he got out? That he got out. That he got out of the Sarlacc pit, he was banged up, and then he came and somebody had taken his costume and was pretending to be Boba yeah. and started taking all the prize money you know, from getting his bounties. Uh, He's like, I'm going to be Boba Fett. I'm going to pretend to be Boba. Boba had a backup suit. Confronted him, nailed him he out. Just, his whole life was like just fighting that guy who robbed him because yeah. he was a failure because he never killed Han because we know that Han got killed by his son. And then later on, they, him and Han in the novels become friends, bro. It, oh it was my crazy, god, typical bro. high school shit. The yeah. guy that hits you it's becomes like, your Yo, friend. Man, I'm sorry, my bad. You know, all right, no problem. All right, so legit right now, canon. You have to say he's, he's dead. dead. Boba is dead. Boba is dead. Boba is dead. All right, I read this. This other thing that's bothering me, Star Wars, which I read in, I read, I read this in, a, in an article. Ray it's is funny. a clone. It's funny that they write this shit. People write this shit. Oh, but he's good. like, okay. When Han Solo and Leia arrive to Cloud City, and Lando's like, you familiar with Empire Strikes Back? He's like, I got, I got him. Obviously, he's like, holy shit, they're here. I'm going to call yeah, Darth yeah. Vader. Like his whole, when he did that whole, hey, Han, you already yeah. knew in his head. He's like, I'm going to call Darth Vader. Yeah. Okay, so he must have called Darth Vader. Darth Vader must have been like, what happened? I got these niggas here. He's like, yeah. perfect. Like, arrest them. Because he must have had stormtroopers there, I'm assuming. You know, the Empire's yeah, yeah. got people there. The Darth's like, no, don't. He must have been like, let them do their thing. Because they go up and shower and yeah, shit. Yeah, he's yeah. like, wait till I get there. He's like, all right. So the Lando waited. Yeah. And then he's like, what do you want to do, Darth? You, they're there in room two or three. Go get them. He's like, no, listen. <clears throat> Invite them down to the mess hall, and then I'll be sitting at the end. I'll even be sitting down, like, if I eat and shit. Yeah. And then when they come in, I'll stand up. And I'll Be say, like, polite. a one-liner. And then Boba Fett, you, you hop out from the side and just don't Da-da. do nothing. Just stand there. Yeah, bro. And, like, why did they do all that? <laughs> well, the whole thing was I, I had read that the garrison was already in place at Cloud City. There was a— This guy a, knows his shit, of Star uh, Of the Empire. There was a garrison. But it was Boba that followed him, remember, from the trash. Uh, when, the, when the Star Destroyer released his trash— the fucking asteroid. Yeah, he started following them. And then he followed them to Cloud City. And I even saw today a picture that it was literally the platform. And you're looking from above— and it's a platform, and you see Lando going, hey, what's going on? And Han is like, oh, crap. And at the plat- at the very top of one of the buildings was Boba Fett looking down from the rooftop. Like, he's watching. He's like, I know oh. they're here. I'm going to call them. Because remember, no disintegrations, you know? That's right. So that that was a thing. But, bro. That whole joke went to shit. <laughs> bro, did you ever read uh, memoirs of a... Uh, Memoirs of, of a Monster. Mm-mm. It was online a few years ago. But what was it about? It was some kid that just literally did like a study of, uh, what is it, you know, writing or whatever. He, he's a little author. Mm-hmm. And he started writing the point of view of Darth Vader carrying a diary from from A New Hope all the way up. Really? Yes, dude. So and it's like sick? It's sick. The, the best part, though, is, you know Admiral Ozzel. Uh, the guy from Re- Empire Strikes Back. It's a drop. No, no, no. no that's Admiral Hart. That's Fish Guy. That's, <laughs> I call the him guy Fish who Guy. Came it's out the up. light speed too fast. He's like, he's okay, as okay, clumsy okay. as he is yeah, stupid. Yeah, that's right. And he gives the command to the other guy. Right. So that particular entry for that day is literally, um, I had to kill Admiral. Time out. Ozzel. Time out. You knew the guy that stood behind the guy that stood behind Darth Vader in the movie. Like, you just shot at him out. Like, that's fucking insane, dog. You heard that? This thing is like, you know the dude in the back that he was getting the coffee and shit. That guy. Tom. That guy. The guy who's playing Galaga. What's his Holy name? Holy shit. Go ahead. So, so the guy, Darth Vader's entry that day, it's literally like, I had to kill Admiral Ozzo today. He jumped out of light speed too early. Wow! So I sent this letter to his family 
And it's literally a letter that Darth Vader penned to Admiral Ozzel's family saying, your son is incompetent as he was stupid. <laughs> and because of them, we are taxing all the funerals of every Empire soldier that died in the attack on Hoth and made this one picture that was left in his by the stormtroopers that raided his, raided his um, personal belongings. May this one picture comfort you in knowing that your son was looking at Ewok porn or something like that. No and you're shit. like, dude, this is... This is insane. But the guy was great because even when, you know the scene, at Return of the Jedi, he sees Luke for the first time, right? Yeah. And then he, there was a... When he turns himself in, he's yeah, like in the bridge. Yeah, when he turns himself in. And you can see Vader is describing the tentacles of the light side of the force enrapturing his son and him being amazed, yeah. saying he is the one. But yeah. the way he... You know, uh, like a wordsmith. He tried to punk him and shit. Yeah. Bring out his lifesaver. No, but he like a this wordsmith. Kid this kid writes the memoirs based on all the scenes that we know. That we know. And oh I was God, like, dude, this I got to read that shit. Genius. I got to read it. There's kid probably genius. one in there where he's like, tired of this shit. <laughs> 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 Just well, maybe I don't want to do this. What is the, the maybe adult I do love swim? My son. He's like, oh, man, you must smell in there. You know, <laughs> smell like leather. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You've been traveling what through space. Yeah, I don't know. He's got to he eat. He's got to eat like soup, like frappuccinos. And then he has to do it in that thing because <laughs> yeah. he can't put it up he the fucking breathe it, no. walkie-talkie yeah. mouth. Dude, he's got to like take the shit off. There's even one scene. He probably doesn't eat. In the memoirs that they're literally roasting Ewoks on Endor before the major battle. Wait, 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 wait. Not like a comedy roast? You mean no, like no, fucking no, turning no, them over? Turn them over. <laughs> We're going to eat rotisserie Ewok Get today. Get the fuck out of here. And, the, and dark... the soldiers take off their helmet and they all look like Boba Fett. Oh, that's right. And you're like, yo. Because they're clones. The kid was pretty good writing, man. I can shout out to that Your boy wants to be the Boba Fett. Yeah. The, uh, Insta Daniel, I think it's is It's funny thing. how they have these side things that happen with the Star Wars universe. Yeah, man. What do you know that... Um, this, this is not live, so obviously by the time yeah. we put it out, it'll be a couple weeks, but... What can you say that by the time this comes out, people are like, what? You'll blow their minds. Um, what could you say right I now? Don't, I don't think I have much on Star Wars, but I do think Rey is a clone. I think Rey is a clone because remember in episode eight that I hated... I don't yeah. know if you hate it. I hated episode yeah. eight. Episode eight was like um, the broom boy was great. That's great, but you know what? I didn't want to see that. I wanted to see Luke freaking Skywalker yeah. take down, you know, whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the crub, the scrub. But anyway, that one scene where she goes down to her cave, remember? Yes. And she sees her reflection, and she goes in there, and she's like, "Hello, hello, hello, hello." hello. Yeah, and there's yes. just an endless weird. amount of of rays. I think those are all clones of her. No way. That they but have like, been multiple clones. That's why if you did you see the last trailer? Yes. Where there's like a red one. There's there's a dark ray. Why there's, did I think that was a dream like like Luke goes down in the cave and he's wearing Darth oh, Vader's helmet? No, no. I Remember? think that's a Remember dark that? Yeah, yeah, dude. I was like, what the heck, dude? Bro. So clone, huh? I think it's a clone. I think she is Like who a cloned her? Those idiots that no, cloned no, no. the stormtroopers? I think troopers? Palpatine. I think Palpatine. Because Palpatine's, Palpatine's in the that's freaking right. movie, he's coming dude. back, bro. For sure. They put dude, the laugh. I went to Epi the, what was it? Star Wars Celebration. When this recent uh, yeah, yeah right in now. April you in just April. came back from it no I came back from, no you went from New York you just came I back came from New, New York, York from okay, New York okay, Comic Con okay. but in April they invited me to Star Wars Celebration what the hell and was they're that? like yo we're gonna pay for your entire flight and your meals we're gonna give you a hundred dollars a day at the hotel that we're paying for you can spend it on fuel you can spend it on on meals or you can drinks whatever you want and I'm like what you you're flying me out. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And this is a scrub from Color Ridge. I'm like, oh, this is because your wife hated that post. This is what my, hi my, my <laughs> wife hated it. And I'm like, I told you. So she's like, can I go? Can I? I'm like, no. You, you have can't. to take her. No, she couldn't go. She's the one that made the account. I told her. I said, look, can I get one ticket to the event? I'll pay for my wife's stuff. And they're like, no, we can't. Oh, okay. It was one of those And I'm like, all right, things. fine. So I get there. And I'm like dying because I'm seeing a whole bunch of YouTubers that I see on on my own. Like, I'm watching them. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's Harloff. You know, the guy from... Um, God, Collider. Dude, you would love... Have you seen Collider? No. What's Bro, Collider? Hold on. I'm going to tell you Collider, and I'm going to blow you away. Because, you know, Christian Harloff, shout out. Anyway. Shout out to Christian Harloff. So, I get over there, and I'm seeing all this stuff, and Palpatine comes out after they roll, after they finish the whole thing, and the whole... Bro, this is like in the Bulls arena, like something that big. The actor. What's his name? I um, forgot his name. I forgot his Ian, name. Ian. Yeah. Something like that. Bro, but shout out to your name. We didn't. Nobody expected him there. He was not on the panel for an hour. Yeah, that's that like we a sat. surprise. He came out and he's like, "Roll it again!" Oh my god! And everybody went nuts. Lightsabers swinging, and you know, Warwick Davis was there. You know, having interviews with fans down on the street. But anyway, Collider. All right. What other than Star Wars? Other than geek stuff? 
is it that you freak out about? Like you and me would fan out over Hulk Hogan, under the freaking giant. Anything. Bro, this guy fucking was a writer for Casey, WWE. Casey, the little blue robot that you yes, the tape in. Bro, this guy was a, a writer for WWE. And he got tired of having conversations like you and I are having and not monetizing it. So what did he do? He videoed it and he's like, yo, me and Billy are going to have a trivia question that he's going to ask all the questions and we're going to have a schmoe down. And whoever wins it gets a WWE style belt, geek memorabilia, whatever it is, Star Wars, Marvel. Whatever you want. This thing has blown up to such a degree. Dude, he is filling up uh, arenas. He is filling up um, theaters in Chicago and people are going nuts and all the, it's just Geek member uh, uh, trivia, bro. Holy shit! And bro. they come out with theme music, and they they have like the wolf pack, and they're like, "No, you're going down." You know, they got the heel, they got the good. But what guy. do they do? They battle with questions. They battle with questions. They're like, "Okay, question number one. All right, uh, spin the wheel." And they get it, and they're like, "Okay, horror movies." Now I'll spin again. One more spin. Oh, I got you. Sci-fi movies. Okay, I'll take the question. What is the name of the furry creature that's with Han Solo at the cantina? Bing. Mm. You know, but they got get you. difficult questions. Bro, there are girls battling, and the girls are sometimes ruling the guys. But dude, they, they're, I've seen some serious Star Wars girl fans. They, bro. Yeah, they, they know they, more shit than you. Yeah, they you, like do. write something on their page and like, uh, uh, no, idiot. Yeah, and they get like you, you suck. You don't know anything. Yeah, but this guy started like the dream, bro. And this guy's living just every day podcasting, video blogging, and he's like, yo, we're here. They invite him to events and stuff like that. But every every so <clears> often, I want wrestling event, dude. Dude, you, you're having the time of your life, dog. Right. I, I, I want you to tell the story of hanging out with Cleo Thomas, and, and, and you have no idea. Right. <laughs> it's Cleo so, Thomas. For those who don't know who Cleo is, Cleo, Shout out is, to Cleo. Cleo is my friend, uh, but we weren't. I didn't know him. So I'm going to Chicago at the time. I'm in the train, and I check my Instagram, and I see somebody with a blue check mark says, hey, I'll be there too. I'm like, hey, hit me up when you're here. That's it. And I know every so often... You know, the blue check mark goes out, and you're like, man, I wish I had a blue check mark. But yeah, they don't want to for those listening, the blue check is on your yeah, Instagram. Yeah, you're, you're going to get authorized, you know, to be like the number yeah. one stunner. So <laughs> uh, I'm waiting for it, and I can't get it. So I'm like, oh, all right, so I'll, I'll hook up with this guy later on. So I go to the hotel, I check in, they're like, hey, $100 a day. I'm like, what's for dinner? They're like, New York Strip, if you want, 50 bucks. I'm like, I still got $50 to drink or eat. or Amazing. I'm like, all right, fine. So I hit him up, I'm like, yo, where you at? He's like, yo, um... Let's hook up. So we start walking around the floor. People are like, hey, can I get an autograph? He's like, sure, sure. Hey, can I get a picture? Sure, sure. I'm like, he's a good looking kid, bro. He's a good looking kid. All right, take a picture. Take another picture. Man, man, this doesn't stop. So one day passes, two day passes, and we're just eating crap, bro. And I'm like, yo, my bad, though. Somebody somebody just stopped again for the, like the ninth hundred time for another autograph or picture. <laughs> Who the heck are you, dog? My bad. And he's like, yo, man, I, I appreciate you keeping it real. I was in this movie, Holes. He's like, you know Holes? I'm like, yeah, my kids watched it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm an old man. I didn't watch Holes. And he's like, yeah, I was in the movie when I was a kid. And, you know, they still have to do it for required reading. And then they show them the movie. So all this young generation yeah. knows my face. I'm like, dude, that's real. Yeah, that's bro. that's tight. And he is genuine. That he'll stop. He's like, sure. I remember him picture, in Walking bro. Tall with yes, the, rock. the Rock. He was the, the, the nephew. Yeah. With the little curly hair, yeah, he like, told I mean, me he was he, in all the, all the movies. I've seen him in most a lot of the movies. Yeah, bro. and he told me he's like, man, I got pictures of me with the Rock playing video games, you know, PlayStation. I'm like, that's Crazy. really cool, dude. But he's really nice people. He's doing big stuff over there, and I keep in contact with him. So we're trying to do something for Disney yeah. coming up for episode nine to promote the film, yeah. you know, together. But this guy is just genuine, bro. It happened to me at the bar. I'm at the bar and we're watching the game. I think it was the playoffs at the time and around or the. April was going to start the playoffs, the NBA playoffs. He's watching the game, and there's this guy just standing there. I'm like, bro, just sit down. He's an older guy. He's already red from drinking. I'm like, go ahead, sit down. He's like, I'm tired, man. I've just been standing all day doing signatures. I'm like, oh, signatures. This guy has to be somebody. Yeah. I'm like, who did you play? He's like, wow, well, you won't recognize the face. I'm like, well, then tell me who you played. <laughs> I've had surgery. He was salacious scrum. The guy who would laugh at Jabba. Every little joke. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that, he did the voice. He did the voice of the little. When he said that name right away. I was and like, I was like, oh Uncle my gosh. Scrooge. 
Salacious Grum, and he's like, yeah, man. I, I was- thought it was a Harry Potter like <laughs> character. Salacious Grum. Okay, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is he G- Gryffindor or no, fucking? No. I, I don't Slytherin. know Potter. Potter's not my. Wait, junk. the little guy that goes, <laughs> yeah, that guy, <laughs> fucking he asshole. Was him. That he got burned by R two D two. Yeah, yeah, he was. No that was shit. him, bro. And he's like, yo, they invite those me up. guys. Look, I admire those guys because they're fucking famous, but no one knows what they look like because they're only famous yeah, for they're their voice. They're only famous but they're like, dude, you fucking know me, man. You've heard me all your yeah. life. So uh, he but did you look the like voice a rapist for me or... and everything, and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. What do you look like? Did he look like a molester? No, like, he nah, looks like an old nice guy. white man, you know, bearded. But I look like a molester. He gets red when he gets uh when he drinks too much. But yeah, that yeah. was it. I was, that's why red. I was like, Siéntate viejo, you yeah, know, te bro. Did he do that? <laughs> no, <laughs> he did it one time, and then I'm like, all right. What I'll if you would have hit him with a Jabba no wanga? Jabba no bada. Jabba no. But, bro, there were so many people. That, bro, we're at the bar, me and Cleo. i like, you want something to drink? And he's like, yeah, we got, you know, the game's going to start. The place is packed full of a whole bunch of journalists, a whole bunch of people from legitimate websites, legitimate podcasts or video. And, and I'm like shooting the breeze with people, giving out my business card, excuse me. And I'm there, and then suddenly this guy comes over and is like, yo, what did you think of the trailer? I'm like, yo, my God, the trailer blew me away. And me, and Cleo jumped in like, yo, the trailer was lit, dog. He's like, yo, come over here. He calls two of his boys. Yo, man, so we, this is what we're speculating. Bro, these guys and me were going, and, and Cleo were going for like an hour and a half just at the bar. This, you is, want the, some, this is the Star, Star Wars, Wars trailer that we hadn't seen yet. You guys saw it first. Yeah, we saw it first. The one, the one that Palpatine. We saw it. Go. And then we're, we're just shooting it, and we're like, oh my gosh, dude, I can't believe this. And, and Palpatine, and they're like, yo, man, you know what they really need to do is get the X Men. They need to buy back the X Men. He's like, bro, Jim Lee was my stuff. And we're like, oh my gosh, you're preaching the gospel, bro. We were there for like an hour and a half. And at the end of the night, we're like, all right, peace out. We'll see you tomorrow, guys tomorrow. You're going to the show? He's like, yeah, yeah, we'll be there. I'm like, Cleo, you know those guys? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know who the... Bro, one of them was like a six foot five Mexican, which is like a Wookiee. You, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah that's a those. rare thing. Yeah, so then I'm, I'm like, all right, if we see these guys, I'm going to hit them up tomorrow and see what's up. The next night, they were walking to me and Cleo were eating. We're like, yo, what's going on? Sit down. He's like, yo... These guys were super cool, bro. And they were just telling us a story. Bro, we do this all the time. One of them works for American Airlines, so he gets free flights for his friends. No shit. They go to all the little things. They went to Dublin the previous year because one of their friends had passed away, and they, they you know, threw yeah, his yeah, remains yeah, yeah. over there in Dublin. They threw it in the fucking alley. Like. But these, <laughs> <laughs> they threw his remains out for the Conor window of grandma's kitchen. But, yo, these guys literally went over there, and they're in Denver. So high altitude. These guys were drinking the, the the Irish guys in the pubs down. He's like, yo, we took these guys down. And he's like, they shut the doors on us. The next time we went to go drink, they shut the doors. I'm like you're but crazy. They, but they were there. You had met them that day. I had met them the day prior. So when we started talking, they start. We just started getting to know yeah. each other. That's what but that that's, community is, bro. That's the whole thing. The whole community that. is like, hey, who do you know? What do you know? Hey, you know what? You and me, we're like. The, we, we're from the same tribe. Yeah. You know, even like Kevin Smith has said, he's like, man, I hid my fandom for such a long time. And I went to a community event and there was a guy saying, uh, I was talking to somebody because he was working as a clerk. He came for, out of the geek closet. Yeah. Right? And he, he was. come out. And they're like, yeah, if you if you think you know Batman because you've seen, seen the Batman animated series, here, go read this. You used this. to think twice of like, I don't know if I could put this Spider-Man you don't shirt on. No, bro. <laughs> now no. you're like, pow. Boom. Bro, even Todd McFarlane said when he met Wanda, his wife, yeah. who is the title female character that yeah. Spawn was in love with. Remember, uh-huh. he came yeah, back yeah, from yeah, hell for course. her. He said, when she came to my house and she came to my room, she saw boxes of comics. And she's like, like those you know, bitch. And he's, no. He was like, she's like, are those yours? He's like, no, those are my little brothers. He, he lied? He lied. Oh he was God, a closet he was geek himself. And that's closet the whole thing. Geek. Look at that. We were all hiding in the closet until finally we're like, oh, my gosh, Chris knows about Star Wars, too. Yo, Chris, come here. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah, what do yeah, you know yeah. about Boba Fett? What do you know about this? And and that's the way it was. Like, they didn't fulfill the prophecy if he didn't kill Palpatine. No. And, and we would did talk he or about did he it. not? Did Palpatine die? Maybe he's a clone. Did you read this book? Did you read that book? And we Everybody just, can be a clone, man. Yeah. But that's the way it was back then in the book. They wrote, wrote everybody as a clone. But... We were all closeted. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't want yeah, to share yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Now, my kids are running around like, "Oh, I'm rocking this Scarlet Witch shirt." I'm like, Bro, you, "You couldn't do that." You don't know shit. You couldn't do that. You don't Twenty know shit years about Scarlet ago. Witch. Let me tell you a story yeah. about Scarlet they Witch. They would have stoned you. Yeah. They would have tied you up to a stake and burned yeah, you like true, the Scarlet Witch. There's so much shit we know that you used to think. All this useless shit. I'm never gonna. I'm never no, gonna amount to nothing. No, bro. <laughs> and now it's like, ta-da. Yeah. Now it's like, holy I need crap. you to tell me more. 
<laughs> like, it's very important that you remember the episodes. Yeah. Like, it, it's true. Look, I I argue with Gio. Yeah. Shout out to Gio. Gio, I'm, I'm always bringing Big up G. Gio on this show. Big G. I argue with him about the Doctor Strange, 140 million, whatever. No sé qué pinga. And he's like, his argument is, look, Chris, when he went and he did all that, he saw a bunch of end games and then one worked. And I was like, no. He saw a bunch of shit and one end game. And that's the movie we saw. And he's, we're battling. Oh, wow. Because then I'm like, I don't know what it is. Because he didn't want to give the stone up so badly the whole movie. And then well, he, he just gave him. it up. So I'm assuming that then he starts arguing me like, well, how did he see the future? Did he live every one of them with yeah. pain come back? Or did he float around like he did in those other fucking movies? I'm like, I don't know. I think he lived those lives. You and think he saw a bunch of end games and we only saw one version? Or there no, was a bunch of versions? Nothing I tried. Think he, I think he got to the one that worked. Boom. There's only one that worked. But he's not. he can't tell Tony, you're going to have to die. You're the one that's going to snap everybody back. But everything that we saw in Endgame, you think happened more than once. Like, I think there are multiple America versions. America fighting himself yeah. up multiple times. Yeah. You're saying. I think that happened, and there were different end results. Like, you know, the the butterfly effect. You like, know? he woke up. He went to sleep. He disappeared. He woke up over here, and he saw a bunch of versions, yeah. and he picked the one that he won. Like, what, what happens if... If during Endgame, Spider-Man and the crew that was lost in space came on the other side, well, he wouldn't have punched that guy. And if he didn't yeah. punch that guy, then it would have killed yeah, that yeah, guy. Yeah, and the it, time travel shit. Yeah, and it would have been a ripple effect that Thanos got the, the stones and snapped it and Tony wouldn't have reached him. In Thanos time. was cooking platanos in the yeah. beginning of Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to make like some kind of mofongo or yeah. something. And they He's fucking, like, dale, una mofongo. They came in and they... But I love the... the what the a movie great was, movie, bro. Dude, um, what a great bro, movie. Bro, were you... Did you go opening day? I went opening day. Oh my gosh! I went the first showing opening day. People were screaming the there like was there was assault, there. like yeah, there was yeah, an assault yeah. going on. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, bro. There were Latin guys. He hope <laughs> uh, Wakanda, yeah, like Wakanda. Fucking... You know, bro. When I saw Black Black Panther, I saw it in Cutler Ridge. Yo, that's crazy. I'm a little Chico. I'm a little brown crazy. boy, Puerto Rican boy. But I was when he's like, yo, hey, throw me in the freaking ocean. I'd rather die with my brothers who knew freedom was better than yeah. slavery. I was like, yo. Yeah, you talk about kill This is like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. yo, this is almost the end of the movie. We're going to die. I can <laughs> save you, brother. Yeah, no. But I, I thought I thought Endgame was phenomenal, bro. Phenomenal. What a great movie, man. They could have done really... better. Like, what a way to just kind of like, all right, guys. Yeah. Did you see the post today? Ryan Reynolds? He, what did he put? He said he... Shout he's out to literally, Ryan Reynolds. He's literally at the wall that says Marvel. He's ready to walk into the Marvel Cinematic you know, offices. He's like, hey, I just applied for a job or a, pl- a role for Anthony Stark. Yeah, I, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's great, man. Yeah, bro. He lives he belongs that thing. there. He belongs there. He lives that You know what I like about him? That he tried and he failed and he said, fuck it, I'm going to do it again. Because yep. he could have quit. Bro, did you know how his movie got made? How it got greenlit? No. So oh, they did it on their own or something like no, that. No, no. Somebody had done cin- animatronics or you know animation. That freeway scene. Yeah, the freeway scene. They had done the, the that freeway. Was done already. Yeah, they, that's what they showed them. No, bro. Somebody leaked it. Oh. Somebody leaked it. It was already in the the shelves of Fox, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not gonna re- we're not gonna green light this movie." When it got leaked to the internet, it picked up, and everybody's like, "Yo, we need this." Next day, it was green lit, and they asked him who 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 leaked the footage, and he's like, "I don't know. That's Blake." I don't know. His wife and I'm like, yo, I think he green, you know, he leaked it and of they green it. That's bro. strategic, man. Bro, that he was needed genius. to do that because that movie we uh, we needed to see Deadpool like that. Yeah, yeah. Our memory of that other cocksucker yeah. was just not. And, and he even plays like the action figures in it. He does so many things so with a so with a green uh, Green Lantern and he's joking on that. The, and, the comedy, man, when he's rolling around in Professor Xavier's chair and he's like, yes. so much white man. <laughs> <laughs> I need my what is it, my rape whistle. <laughs> he's like. <laughs> Where's my rape He's whistle? like, is it is it Stewart or is it McAvoy? <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of lost in yeah. the timeline. And you're like, He's bro, these are great. Yes, dog. he was really good. He was. What really are they good. doing? Are they gonna do a part three raunchy again and just I under think they the are. umbrella? Like, like no, like, they're gonna bring it into Disney. From what I understand, but like he's gonna meet these dudes. From what I understand, damn, bro, that would. What that, about that? That'd bro, be fantastic. Yeah, we're dying to see him with Tom Tom Holland as Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are dying for that because he he's a. Got tons of comics with him and Spider Man. Yeah, because you know yeah, Spider Man's yeah, yeah. sassy at the mouth. That's right. But I don't think Tom is as sassy as he should oh, he's be. He's getting there. He's getting there, but he's not like, like I think Andrew Garfield played a better Spider Man, <sighs> not a better Peter Parker. Yeah, he did. He did. 
And, and I could because they were giving him his lines. Yeah, well, when they announced, like, "Hey, we're going to bring," but he looked like my cousin <laughs> yeah. wearing a fucking onesie. <laughs> well, he like, looked like twenty five years old. Yeah, like, hey, bro, you got he's twenty five years this old in the onesie. Suit, this other young kid is just killing it the way That's he looks the thing, in the, the kid suit, is, man. The kid is killing it, and I remember when they announced Spider Man will be in it. But he's British. Yeah, he's British. But so was Andrew. So yeah, was he was. Is, is, was he? Yes, bro. Is he? Yeah. The only one who's American is Tobey Maguire. Toby. I'm picking Tobey Maguire. Yo. But that death scene of Gwen, when he threw her off, when, when the Green Goblin threw her off, and, and she, she like, fucking oh, hit her head. Oh, yeah. And I knew the whole, you know, you, you, That's a you read the comic frame. book frame. That's a couple yeah. of frames of that. And you're like, yo, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, the Joker, it, you all seen it. Yeah. Yo, I yeah. hopefully this comes out like a few weeks later. Yeah, but yeah. that one scene, when I see the marquee of the theater, what's playing oh. in the theater, I'm like, yo, I know what today is. Look who's coming out. Yep. What yeah. about when he, when a little kid was in the playground, he, did you see it? When he slid down the thing, that was a homage to Adam West sliding what? down the bat pole. I didn't pole. even get that, dude. Little Batman jumps off the playground yes. and goes, boo, he slides dude. down the fucking pole. Was that right? Alfred? The old man? Was that was that? Alfred. I, I got He was kind of gangster, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, how yeah. Alfred fights? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what the fuck you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to run? I don't even know how to talk but, about it. It was really good. Why dude. did he grab his mouth? Like <laughs> I, I don't know. Like let me. Yeah. I would have like fucking shot him. Like don't touch his mouth. It's Bruce Wayne. But yo, it's fucking when, no. When cavities. you read the letter, when you read the letter, and you read what his mom had written to Thomas Wayne, I was like, what? My wife. But, was, listen, when that happened, I went like this to you. I go, hey, they're gonna fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> I look. I elbow Gio. I go, they're gonna fuck this yo, up. Yo, can, this can't be motherfucking Batman's no, brother. My my wife looked at me like that's. That's, that's, that's blasphemy. That's, that's not right. And my wife is not a geek. My wife in any way. It was way, horrible. She's like, she's like, no, wait. It this was is like wrong. it was like um like if they did a Jesus movie and instead of hammering his head, they're like hammering his head or something, and, and no, the nails it was are not totally in his different, arm. Bro. You can't change that. It was part. twisted, and but I was then, like, but then they brought it back. I'm like, yo. they were like, she's a crazy cunt. Yeah, well, loved it. What, did you? you loved have it, you been man. reading comics or no? And Gio's shoving down the, the medals down my throat okay, they're sometimes. Gonna, they're going to come out with medals, too. Are they? Yeah, they're going to come out with medals, too. Okay, but okay, before listen, that. Man, it kind of got a little weird. It I, got I, weird, and I'll give you that. I'm not into the medals so far, but what I was into was Snyder's story, and there was another one. Um, the Owls. The Owls one. The Owls was, was yo, biblical, bro. That I was, love that story because yeah. it was very cynical, and you could believe it. Yes. This other shit has just got me they like, They retconned okay. it undercover like, yo, there's a 13th floor. And you're like, yo, I've heard about that 13th floor. And the Owls were all over it. And the nurse who rhyme and like, what? And then the guy who said he was. You you have a hard time watching movies. I'm sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. You have a hard time watching movies because you know all the books. No. You know how people go, the book is better. Yeah, I like, do, do, you that? do that. I did that up front when, with Iron Man. For one, I'm like, yeah, whatever. You're like, oh, but, the book is. But then I, the 1400 I, I, comic books are yeah, better than the But two now movie. what I do is like, okay, this is this is a multiverse. I literally have said that multiple times before they've even mentioned multiverse. I'm like, this is a multiverse. And then, so much knowledge. You, you know, the 616 that we all talk about, which is the canon Marvel comic book universe. That is the number of the Earth, 616. They, I remember looking it up one time, and they're like, oh, this is Earth, whatever, whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, it's a multiverse. So it's just totally different. I can get behind that, and I'm, yeah, I'm fine yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. But, bro, there was one story. Did you see Flashpoint? The cartoon? Yeah, the well, cartoon. I, mean, no, I know the, the cartoon book based on a comp- Yo, but I that was the gangster. Cartoon, bro. The, they make a movie like that, bro? Yes. I'm done. The I'll Martha watch. and the Thomas yes. scene. I'm just gonna say that. Yo, Batman's Batman dies. I mean, Bruce, Bruce Wayne gets killed in the as alley. As a kid, yeah. And then the dad's Batman with yeah. guns and yes. the mom's Joker. The mom goes insane, bro. What about Shazam? He had like three kids that oh make him one. Oh my god, bro. That's Remember crazy. That? Yeah, but dude, that that to me was brilliant writing. How really? do you get like? How can we make Flashpoint and make Batman still relevant but not be Bruce Wayne and Martha? How can we do this? And making Martha the Joker and being insane. And then in one of the books, they, they revealed that Martha's last name, her maiden name was... Uh, Stuart. No. Arkham. No way, bro. Yes. So her parents... They connected to the family of that a thing? No the, way. The, the mental the institute. Her family was like connected to the people who ran it and all that. Let me ask like you something crazy. about the Joker movie. Is that what that was based on an one comic book kind of series, or does he really have an origin that's he like doesn't. fucked up? That, they made that up, right? There's there's so far like four or five origins that we don't know which one is which. Let's put it like this: there is this chair. It's called the Morbius chair in the DC universe, in the comic book universe. And there's one scene where the chair gives you the wisdom of all, the knowledge of all. It gives you we need to get one of those the life equation. It, it lets you know everything, like all things, all things. 
Batman convinces the man who's sitting on the chair to get up. I don't know how Batman did it. I didn't read Fucking that part. Fucking Batman, But dog. Batman does it. And then suddenly you see Bruce as Batman in the Justice League around him. And he's sitting in the chair, bro. It looks like a throne that floats in the sky. Kind of like it has Hobgoblin wings on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he's just sitting there. And the first thing he asks it, he's like, who killed my parents? And you don't hear the response to the chair. And all you hear is Batman saying, correct. Second question, who is the Joker? And he says, that's impossible. Bro, the comic book ends. What? It says that's impossible. And so you're, the next thing, somebody's attacking. Time like, out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Okay, I'm going to try to guess. What would make Batman say it's impossible if somebody goes, who's the Joker? And they say, blah, blah. Why would he say impossible? So that's It has what, to be something like But this crazy. is what comics, this is what comics do. They it's leave like you with Alfred. that. And the next moment, the next issue, uh, we're not answering that. What if he's like, you are? It's like impossible. But they don't answer it, Chris, for three years. And then three, they do? Then they three do? physical years. Like, I have been reading, you have been reading, and like, you know, 365 times three has gone by, and finally, Green Lantern gets the webbles to say, hey, remember when you were in the chair, and you asked it? Remember that? And he's like, yeah. He's like, what did the chair tell you? He's like, the chair told me there are three jokers. He's like, what? Three freaking jokers. And so now they're coming out with a storyline called Three Jokers. To give which, you the origin of where they came from? Where they came from, if they're separate. Why is there one that's a clown? Why is there one that's an anarchist and one that's completely psycho, bro? I mean, to the point that what a Joker, now that I can say that, a Joker has captured the entire Bat family, including Batman. And he's going to kill one member of his family at a time because you know what? You don't pay attention to me, Batman. You and I, this is the They're relationship. Like boyfriend and girlfriend. Huh? They're like boyfriend and girlfriend. He, he, he swears like they, they live off of each other. Like, you feed me, I feed you bats, and you, you are the bat king. These sh- kids should be serving you, but what? they're playing possum. You know, yeah. They're playing all this game. We need to kill them, and this is just me and you. And he's like, you can't kill Alfred. You can't kill Damon. You can't kill Dick. You can't kill Jason again. <laughs> you can't kill Dick. You can't say that. You can't kill Dick. <laughs> you ain't getting Dick. Like, hey, you're gonna get, I'm going to get all your money, Batman. Man, you ain't getting you Dick. Dick. But, you know, it's just the mentality of, of the insane. Why can't they make these movies? Why, why, I don't know. Why, why is they, Batman bro, suffering with keeping his movies going? And, like, why are we not at part you, four watching all the villains? Like, did why? you see they just announced Catwoman, bro? It's fucking Zoe, Zoe Kravitz's daughter. Yeah. Lenny How do you Kravitz. feel about that? Lenny Kravitz. You know, Zoe I, Kravitz is her name. Er, I'm Earth still getting cat. over her being pushing uh, Eric down the steps in... Uh, Which one? In the HBO show. What's it called? <laughs> What's that show called with the fucking Nicole Kidman? Shout out to all the bitches that killed oh, uh, I can't remember. Eric oh, Drew Blood. Yes, yes, It's called yes. Big Little Lies? Yes, yes. Yeah, Catwoman's in there pushing some, some well. helpless dude down the steps. <laughs> so, He's not helpless. He's a mean guy, but spoiler. I think, I think it's not a bad choice, and I don't it's mind. Not, it's I not. don't mind that she's black because everybody's like, oh, my God, but she's black. She's like, black? Bro, th- she's mixed. Yeah, she's kind of mixed. Lenny's Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though he's a black Jew, yeah, yeah, yeah. which are like black like humans, they don't exist. No, she's good. She's good for Catwoman. She is. Bro. I mean, I'm still dealing with Earth the, the, still dealing the first with Batman, the, cap- the vampire yeah. Batman. Oh my gosh, his skin's gonna glow. <laughs> that was a bad cat. What if he knocks it out of the park? We're always talking shit. We're like, oh, he's gonna bro, fucking suck. Bro, I was suck. hating on Heath Ledger. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, the kid from Night's Tale. Nah, yeah. nah. I can't yeah, yeah. See that. Ten things I hate about you. Yeah, nah. I got eleven things I hate about you. I still think. Now I, I still love think that he's the titular. I, I think I still think he's the main Joker. Like out of all, you like him better than all of them. Hey, he listen, was, I had a fucking brain fart the other day with Manny here. What is the name of the first Joker on the Batman show? Caesar or something? What? Caesar Romero. Caesar Romero. Caesar Romero. This cocksucker would paint over his mustache because <laughs> he, 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 he didn't he, want to shave his mustache. Like I ain't shaving no, that. No way, I fake that. Yeah, that be loco. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, bro. He was crazy, but awesome. He knocked it out of the park. Best did. Joker out of all of them. Pick it. Ready to go. I, out of all the Jokers, I say Legend still. Really? Yeah. Underneath him. I, I would say Joaquin. And then? Uh in Nicholson. Jack. Jack. Yeah. That's it. Last Let's place in no no existence is stupid suicide squad, Jared Leto. Oh, I forgot about that. He, he doesn't exist. Bro, Mark Hamill's above <laughs> him, bro. What did he do? Like <laughs> they told him, Okay, look, you're gonna play Joker, okay? He's like, All right, I got an idea. I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> I'm gonna kinda just Change them up and I'm come out. Tell me what you think. And I'm gonna like, draw on my hand and, and, yeah. I'm like, ah. and then I'm gonna just gonna slick my hair back. And yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, and he yeah, had yeah, the yeah. gold teeth. And I'm like, Harley did great in that movie, but now like I see the trailer for the next one, and I'm like, I don't want to see it. it no, looks you like didn't like the trailer. No, man. Yeah. You know what it was? What the Suicide Squad trailer? You wanted to go see that movie when they put Bohemian Rhapsody. You were like, "Yo, 
book my ticket now. This movie is like, what is Obi Wan Kenobi doing yeah, in this movie? He looks yeah, a little yeah, weird yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Is he the black mask? Yeah, he's a black mask. Yes, black right? mask. I knew so it. I was like, okay. Shout out to Ian McGregor. Yo, Ian McGregor. Obi Wan and um, yeah. black black. Uh, what's going think, on with the um, UFOs, Ralphie? Have you seen the, the I don't know. videos? We were going raid Area Fifty One, weren't they? I saw this uh, Puerto Rican video. I saw this Puerto Rican yeah. classified video. This little thing yeah, flying yeah, yeah. over. Can't believe anything Puerto Ricans say. No. <laughs> Shout out to Puerto Ricans, man. They're the. What are they? I don't know, man. I mean, I'm I'm really into like the fantasy sci-fi shit, but then when yeah. you try to mix it into the real world, it's kind of. I don't know, man. Did you ever out. see BSG Battlestar Galactica? The movie, the the remake when they redid it again. The Navy fought them. No, 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 no. No, that's the one with the no, balls. No, you're talking about battleship. <laughs> battleship. <laughs> with Rihanna. You my battleship. Somebody was playing yeah. up there, and the fucking things were killing us down no, here. No, no, wait. No. What is Battlestar? The Battle, TV show. The Battlestar Galactica was a TV show that came out in the late seventies. Uh, I and watched it the eighty ones. I watched the seventy eighties ones no, when no, we no, were no, fucking. Bro. No. This thing. First of all, it the had, new one on Sci-Fi. Yes, yeah, the new one on Sci-Fi had James Earl Jones. Okay, not wait, not James Earl Jones. No, not James. Earl. El, 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 Darth Vader, el, man. El, el Latino, el Mexicano, bro. Oh, and we're James Earl. <laughs> <laughs> I got them all mixed up. You bro. gotta make. You know what? We should put his voice over his. Yeah, thing. yeah. Like, sorry. So he's in it, and um, a few other, and a few other actors, right? But it's literally taking place in a future that you can't understand. It's like, is it the future? Is it the past? And they're in this ship. And literally, the first episode starts off with like, hey, why don't you get, we're doing a tour, the ship's going to be decommissioned. You're a Navy guy. It's going to be decommissioned. Why is it that the ship doesn't have, like, Wi-Fi and, you know, it's all connected via network? He's like, no, this is, is an old ship. We're not going to retrofit it. Done. So then these aliens or these creatures attack called Cylons, and they start destroying the entire fleet. Everybody jumps on board ships, and they start taking off <laughs> into space. The only ships that survive are the ships that are not retrofitted for the network because they threw in the virus through the network. So this ship is going through space and they're trying to find this fictional land because they come from a tribe of 12, a colony of 12 planets. And they're trying to find the 13th fictional one that it was only whispered about, like biblically. And it's called Earth. And so it's like, like future, so like you're they like, left already. Dude, they're they're in the way space, back. and you're like they're they're gonna find Earth. They're gonna find, and you're like, yo, what is this? They're not Earthlings. They're not Earthlings. They live on other. They're wearing jeans and shit. Yeah, and belts like and, us. And they got military, and they're but they're fighting in space like an X wing. So you're like, yo, this is pretty cool. But then they start throwing in religion, and literally, Chris, you and I know religion. Yeah. Literally, the first episode is the Cylon that says, "Do you believe in God?" <laughs> the Lord wants you to be fruitful what? and multiply. The Lord is one. And you're like, what? And then you see him, the other guy, he's like, no, we, we, we believe in Zeus. We believe in Aphrodite. We believe in many gods. And you're like, what the hell is it? The robots believe in one God. And the humans believe in multi-gods. So I, I started getting into this show. At the end of the show, they actually landed on Earth. But it was prehistoric Earth. And they populated the entire planet. And then later on, the story is like what will ha- what happened before will always happen again. So it's like a repeating. Yeah, it just repeats. But it's like they're all connected. To me, they're all connected. You know, Star Wars, all that. Yeah. And they, they can all be in one world. That's why I don't, you know. As it helps as, you enjoy them more. Yeah, like it does. Like I believe Goku could beat up Superman. Yeah, they'll yeah. meet one day. Yeah, they'll meet one day. But I think Superman and Goku won't fight. They'll be like, no, you're a good guy. Yeah. yeah they'll, they'll, they'll be at odds because I don't know who this alien is. I think I anyone could beat uh, um, Superman now because he knows not, his mom's name is Martha. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> but then think about it. The next month. Look, Martha. Civil War whipped out the whole thing of like, you killed my mom. Do you, are you biased watching movies because Marvel exists? Like no. You have a hard time watching other no. comic book movies because you know like I've seen a fantastic no. masterpiece. Already. I, I watch like BBS. You watch Venom? I, 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 I didn't like Venom, but, but I watched it. it. I watched Dark it. Dark Phoenix? I, I watched it. Did you like it? Yeah, dude. I, I, I liked, liked it. I liked the ending and I'm like, okay, dude, the train scenes were on point. I'm like, yo. The finally, that my shit boy was Cyclops was fighting the way he's yeah, supposed bro. to fight. Yeah, bro. They made them all fight. Good. They did. They did. Even Storm was wrecking shot. Yeah, yeah, Beast yeah. Beast was wrecking shot. At the end when she dies, she did the whole silhouette like they did in yeah. the old movie, and Under like, the Water. Correct. And I'm like, okay, we're done. And that's the thing. But the, the story is that when they went to review it, and they're like, okay, we're buying Fox. 
uh, show us your movie. And like, oh, her power looks like Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's going to have to change. Oh, you were going to release before Captain Marvel? No, that's going to have to change. Uh, you're going to have to redo the entire second half of your movie. That's going to change. You wanted two movies? Yeah, that's going to change. We're going to just make... So they chop, 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 chop. And then and they it, sold them. And then they sold... Yeah, then they bar- purchased it. And they're like, okay, and we'll put this in the theater because... Just do the premiere the and uh, just move along. Yeah, and I felt bad, but you know, it Did is you? what it is. Yeah, I felt bad. I, I thought it got the shaft, but... What they put out was a subpar product. But then, you know, that's at the behest of Kevin Feige. All right, X-Men movies rated. In order you like, ready, go. Two. X-Men 2 is number one, period. X-Men 2 is the new... The no, new... no, the one with... Um, the old the school one, one? Where she goes in... Where she, Phoenix dies in the water, bro. When she dies in the water, I still love that X-Men. I'll take the animated series anytime, Wait, though. wait, wait. What about the new ones? Like X-Men, First Class, Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, Days of Future and Past, Dark Phoenix. Those four. Days, give me the order. Days of Future Past is first. Yes. N- number one. And then comes um, X-Men 2. Uh, <laughs> Not even on the list. He's like, um, Hennessy. No, <laughs> no, no and you then, only get Kool-Aid, juice, um, Apocalypse Hennessy. is dead last. I don't care what you think. What did that suck? That movie sucked. Because they got Oscar Isaac to play, you know, the guy from Mr. Ooze. Yeah. They got him to play Mr. Mr. Ooze. Mr. Ooze from, from, from Power from Rangers. Power. Like, why did they do that, bro? Like, you, it's, The new Power Rangers yeah. was good. Yo, the new Power Rangers was pretty good. I'll give it to you. Yeah, man. The new Power I Rangers was like, was pretty hey, good. Not bad. It's not bad. I wanted to go, go Power. Well, the white guy didn't come out. The white, the white Ranger didn't the come out. The white Ranger. Yet. Well, he was at the end. He did a little cameo. Tommy did a little cameo. Did he? Yes, him oh, and right. uh, the Pink Ranger. That's right. That's they were like right. on a date when yeah, you know yeah, the Megazord yeah, yeah, yeah. showed up, and they're like, "Oh, what the heck is that?" And you're like, "Tommy, <laughs> Green Ranger, let's go, bring him out, let's go." Holy shit! That dog. white Megazord, though, I loved it, bro. That tiger one. Is uh, the Transformers coming back or no? They're dead. No, I think they're going to try to continue that Hasbro universe with Bumblebee, but... The Bumblebee shit was good at the beginning when they did all yes, the, the, the all beginning of Cybertron sequence. was great. That was great. Cybertron was great. It looked Earth like a cartoon sucked. movie. Yes. Earth sucked. But at that, all, all that all the shit, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Looks Dude, like, the guy uh, who did the voice for Soundwave and Shockwave, his name is <laughs> Epic Voice Guy. <laughs> it's like, his I love name that is voice. Epic Voice Doesn't Guy like on that. Instagram, and he did a legitimate job. He did, bro. And that's literally... Frank Walker and somebody else that's done those voices for years, and I couldn't tell the difference. I'm like, yo, did they get Frank? And this guy did it, and he, he's the guy that is in the movie. Welcome, it's movie time. Put away your cell oh phones. My God, it's yeah, him. Yeah. It's that guy. So that's crazy that he got that gig. So, but he did a good job. I personally hope to just give me all robots, no Earth. Give me Cybertron only. I want to see a like civil a movie, war. Cybertron movie. Yeah, I want yeah, to see war, a straight civil war. You know, I want to see the Clone Wars. Cartoon only, like Star Wars. Going back to Star Wars, Episode One could have been a dream sequence. I could have seen the Darth Maul fight yeah. at the beginning of Episode Two. Yeah. We jump a few years, few years later, yeah. and Anakin's grown up and all that stuff. Clone Wars, the cartoon was biblical. Like that junk is like so good, bro. I know it talks about soldiers. It talks about those who feel like they got to. They can get away with order. more because it's cartoon. Oh, you have to do all this acting and special effects. Like, but put all that shit in there. These th- these clothes are dying, and and they're they're trying to say, well, they're not. They don't mean anything, and really like they do. But kids are watching. That. Yeah, yeah. You know, the kids remember, like murder. Remember when me and you went to go see Optimus Prime in a the theater die? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Optimus died in the theater. Moms wanted their money back immediately. Kids were crying, hysterical. What do you mean, Optimus Prime died? They want their money back. Hasbro gets a phone call. Yo, people are getting their money back. Like, yo, G.I. Joe, the movie? Yeah. You can't kill Duke anymore. Yeah, that snake <laughs> that's going to go for Duke's chest from Sir Panther? Yeah, Nick's it. He's going to come back from a Fuck that movie up go- too, bro. And then, oh, wait. Yeah, we Put can't Put uh, Marlon Wayans in there while you're at yeah. it. No, no. I'm talking about the cartoon. You remember? <laughs> oh, wait. The cartoon. Yes, the cartoon. So Duke was going to die with the snake from Sir Panther. They didn't make him die. They didn't that's make right. him they die. And then they took up. it out. They took it out from the theater, like, we're not even going to release because it. Because the cartoon, you mean because the movie, I, when the you say movie, I, I thought you were thinking part two when he died no. in fucking the pyramids. No. And they woke him up and Shia LaBeouf came running and fucking, I don't know how he escaped the yeah. fucking barrage of bullets from I a Transformer know. when he was running. Oh my gosh. With Shia. the Hottie McFadi. Shout out to uh, Hottie McFadi. Yeah, she's still, she's still with Granny. I get it. Is she? Yeah. She posted a picture today with uh, three kids of Nice. With like look. with the uh, 90210 with David the geek <laughs> the geek David the David had all the listen if you by the time you get to so, shout out to my girlfriend she showed me this by the time you get to season 6 he's fucking all the girls bro Yo, but that that David geek was the man, pulled dog. all yeah, he the did. chicks and that's why Cyclops is my boy 
Yo, Cyclops pulled the hottest redhead in all the comics. That's Done. right, Jean Grey. And he leads the entire X. Jean Grey, her head's red. Did you read House of X? You didn't read yeah. House of X? You did? No, no, no. I did House of M and the one before that where uh, no, they Avengers just released, disassemble. They just, they just did um, House of X and Powers of Ten. I'm going to watch it. Is that the DMX comic book? No, or? no, no, not DMX. Hex, go give it to you. Dude, it's, it's pretty good. Poor they, X. They Shout totally out to X. He's in uh, rehab. Is he? Yeah, he is, man. Poor guy. Listen, Ralph, our time's coming up. I think... Uh, that sucks. We can be here for another two hours. We'll be here for another two hours if we wanted to, but... Yeah, where's your dad, man? Your wife's probably looking for you. My dog probably Girl, ran out of food. She's dyeing her hair or something like that. <laughs> That's why I could come out to play. The like, old man, the old man, they're in New Jersey. They'll probably come back. I'm going to have him on this podcast so he can talk to me. His thorough analytics on, on aliens. I guys... want to know why he had a fax machine. <laughs> he still has that fax machine. <laughs> start your fax Start your now. fax now. Any Remember those fax of... machines? Yeah. <laughs> Who uses those things now, man? I don't know. You can wipe your butt with them. Yeah, but, yeah pretty much. But I, he had a fax, and I remember calling Chris. I'm like, yo, let me call Chris. Start we had to like run fax over there. I'm like, jeez. So I used to drive the car over. and like, yo, man, I was calling you, but your dad Listen, had the fax machine Thank God on. smartphones showed up because my dad's like communicating with Ecuador like that. Like, okay, send me a fax. Like, <laughs> <laughs> order this and order that. I'm like, now it's all. Crazy, bro. Super bro. gangster, bro. You know but what I, it is? We're all connected. We are all freaking connected. We can't escape this thing. No, man. I had uh, who's over here? Alex Velez was my first oh show. My gosh, oh my god! Yeah, it go, and then I'm gonna have Alex to leave out pretty soon. Did you know that? Yeah, he, that's what I told you earlier. Is you end up hitting somebody, end up being his friend yeah, later. Yeah, bro. He he was my bully. In, that's in right. Element. That's Not right. Something about a school. something about a paper or something. Paper. He wanted some paper. Hey, can I borrow some paper? I'm like, screw you, punk. Because he. <laughs> He was always getting away with murder. I'm like, yeah. I'm not giving a guy any paper. Yeah, the guy doesn't bring a piece of yeah. paper. Yeah, he's always he picking up the, the chicks. He's like, nah. What I'm, an asshole. Yeah, bro. There was another guy, Tony. Tony Kuto. He lived over there. Tony got killed. That's right. R.I.P. Tony. Tony yeah. One of Alex's friends. But, to- but Tony showed up at my house. So check this out. We're in the third grade. Alex is in the class with me. So some kid pushes me, and I have a cupcake in my hand. And Tony is wearing his Shazam shirt. And I... Bumped into Tony and I get the cupcake frosting all over his oh. shirt and he's like, "I'm gonna kick your butt <laughs> after school." And I'm like, "Oh crap!" So then the bell rings and I don't see Tony and I don't see Alex. I'm like, "Oh crap!" I'm going out the back door. This is golf stream. So I went out the back door. And you and live I, right down the street. Yeah, I live right down the street. And I see Tony hiding with Alex behind the door, waiting for me to come out. I'm like, "Yo, gotta run it." <laughs> went home and I'm there playing Nintendo or whatever. My dad's like, "Rafi." I'm like, yeah, what happened? He's like, uh, why is there a cupcake on your window? That cat got another cupcake, <laughs> found my house, and threw it. Like, I know where you live. Like, yo, I got your DL. I'm going to kill you. So I'm like, oh, Fucking my God. Hey, dog. That yeah. was in elementary? Yeah. Wow, and my dad bro. took me to the park, and he's like, yo, they're right there. I'm going to go talk to you. Ven acá. Ven acá. ¿Qué te pasa? Oye, si te cojo al lado, mi hijo, te voy a partir la cara. No me haga. Bro, and my dad was like that. Shout bro. out to uh, Rob Frona, so, senior. Tony, Tony passed away a few years after that. but Yeah, bro, I remember he got shot right there, yeah. right on Blue Water. Yeah, hard times, bro. Color Ridge is not the same as you Color Ridge, but. man. Listen, you got to come back. When, when I, when yeah, I have bro. you come back, we'll do another hour and a half, and we'll just get in deep in some other shit, because we didn't even touch the Matrix. We didn't touch oh. other stuff. Jurassic Matrix Park. is coming back. Bro. They are. I, got, I was going to ask you, what the hell are they doing? I don't know. Is it going to be the little girl with the uh, that was it the It better not show? be. I need, I need Neo. Yeah. I need, I need Neo to reboot the entire Matrix. I need Neo to be like John Wick. Matrix. Yeah. Oh my like, gosh. Just yeah. to show up and like do some John Wick shit. Yeah. That'd be gangster. Yo. But the closest thing we got to that was Matrix One. When they got all the guns and they went inside the building. Yeah. He's like, Sir, can I check your bag? The beep. Uh, and you're like, uh, Yo no. <laughs> that that movie was <laughs> those they're all good, man. They, they People were hate great. on them, but they're good movies. And you know what it was? It was a Dragon Ball scene Dragon Ball Z, Z scenes that I saw with Smith and 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 Neo and the part two, I'm like, okay, yeah. his face looks banged up. And then they had to change the Oracle because she died. The actress really died. And that was, is that what happened? Yeah, she had died. The I act- thought they purposely did it because she had to lose her cover, her image, when the guy. No, see, the actress really died in real life, so that's why they changed the. That happened actress. in Harry Potter too with uh, Dumbledore. Really. Yeah, the, I didn't the see first any... Dumbledore is not the same one throughout the whole movie. I've never seen a Harry Potter film. Ralph, ever. you lie. I'm not Ralph, lying. Ralph, you lying. I'm not lying. Ralph, not listen one to me. freaking listen to me, Potter film listen to me. ever. Listen to me, man. I recently did it like in the last three years. I didn't see him either. And somebody's like, dude, you're missing out because the last movie is epic. 
but you can't get there Until you without see the seeing others. Anakin in the fucking dirt racing yeah, yeah. that car. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not the same to watch Darth Vader die yeah. at the end if you don't know that little boy. Yeah. Watch Harry Potter. You got to be emotionally tied watch to the Harry character. Potter. By the time That's they're why... fucking 17, they're running for their goddamn oh lives. Oh, and, and fucking Voldemort is the shit, bro. Yeah. I, I heard about Voldemort. <laughs> But I, I, I have Fucking the same a, one, bro. Dog. You gotta watch that shit, bro. But Fanny you know what? I hadn't, I hadn't seen Breaking Bad. I benched what? that. I benched oh, you that two it. years ago. I gotta two watch the ago. movie. It just came out. Oh my gosh! I you saw seen it? it. I saw it. Don't bro. say nothing. Don't say nothing. All right, folks. That's our time right now. Oh no, my don't God. say nothing. Don't say nothing. It was good. I'm watching it. Mean maybe tonight. Do you watch Better Call Saul? I've watched a little bit. I haven't really killed it because I know it was hard for me to be like, okay, let's go back. Yeah, but they they give you a few little Easter eggs. It's comedy. Yeah, yeah. And they give you a few little Easter eggs, but that's the whole thing. It's that's what works for Marvel. That's what works for a lot of these scenes. Is that they build a world that you're now immersed in and you're connected emotionally with the character. If you're not connected emotionally to Tony Stark in a cave, that he says, "Earn this." Yeah. When the when the old man tells him, "Earn this," and he does. Yeah. You know, ten years later, he's sacrificing himself <laughs> like the old man did for everybody else. I just want peace. Yeah, I just want peace. You know, and he's slaying everything. Ralph, you know, I love yo. you, brother. We'll talk soon, Bubba. Thank you for coming, man. All right. Anytime, bro. Keep this doing is killer, your thing. bro. I'm gonna be following. I'm gonna put people on your fucking page once they see this shit. And yeah. uh, go watch Harry Potter. Stop hating. Oh man, I don't know. About I'll do that. Harry Potter head. You do go Harry Potter, right, bro? Have you seen Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> the PG boys. Yeah, I love it, dog. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, folks. All right, peace out. <laughs>